Tuberculosis, most often referred to as TB. It is a widespread infectious disease which can prove to be lethal, resulting most commonly in humans from a strain of bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It most often attacks the lungs, but can also affect other parts of the body. This deadly disease must not be ignored. If you don't recognize the symptoms or know how to prevent it, TB will kill you and add you to its victims list quickly and efficiently. TB or not TB, this is information on tuberculosis. So it's TB, but not TB? I'm complicated. The guy does know tuberculosis. If he says it can manifest... I'm not even a real doctor. It's a human telethon. Hello. I'm Clayton. And I'm going to be talking to you today about tuberculosis. <laughs> The scientific name for TB is tuberculosis bacillus. I'll mainly refer to it as TB. I'll begin with a bit of background knowledge. The history of TB, what it does, and who is most affected. Warning. Some images may be disturbing to some sensitive people. Viewer discretion is advised. It's not TV. What is it? Oh, you want specifics? Tuberculosis bacillus fits into the phylum actinobacteria. These bacteria can live on land or in the water, and of all the phyla of bacteria, they are one of the most dominant. So you're not special, but TB is. This phylum, of course, fits into the kingdom bacteria. TB was first discovered and named by the German physician Robert Koch in 1882. It was for a long time a difficult disease to diagnose and was easily confused with others. Tuberculosis can present in hundreds of different ways. But by that logic, everyone in the hospital should be treated. Not everybody in the hospital has been exposed to it for the last 20 years. TB takes years to kill you. Two weeks ago, he was perfectly healthy. Now he's got a whiteboard full of symptoms. What about something metabolic? Years ago, it was often referred to as consumption because patients with TB would simply waste away and die without proper treatment. Luckily today, Tuberculosis can most often be treated successfully with antibiotics. Life-saving treatment. He's refusing TB treatment. You don't think he has TB. Ergo, you should care less. He won't let me test him. And what do you want me to do about it? Hold him down. Aside from TB, there is another group of organisms that are in the mycobacterium family, referred to as a typical tuberculosis. These organisms don't usually cause any disease and only live alongside other bacteria in our bodies without causing any damage. Because of this behavior, they are referred to as colonizers. However, there are times when these colonizers do cause infection which, clinically speaking, is like tuberculosis. When these atypical mycobacteria cause the infection in question, they prove to be extremely difficult to get rid of. Multiple medications and drug therapy must be used on patients who contract this for up to two years. Of the entire world's population, one-third is thought to be infected with TB. The distribution of it is not consistent across the globe, though. Roughly 80% of the population in many African and Asian countries test positive, whereas 5-10% to 10 of the U.S. population do. Not surprisingly, people most affected by TB are people living in developed areas. 
They contract it more easily due to a number of factors that degrade their immune system, including immune system suppressing drugs, substance abuse, AIDS, and more. Because of population growth, exact numbers as to how many people are infected with TB on a yearly basis are unknown. It seems the absolute number of new cases is still on the increase. In 2007 alone, there were 13.7 million active cases, 9.3 million new cases, and 1.8 million deaths. Most of these were in developing countries. Another person just died. Where is your outrage? No, I have no intention of murdering myself. I'm just putting my shirt sure, back on. This has got a great beat. Now that you have a better idea of what TB is, I'll move on to how it affects and infects so you know if you have it or not. The cause of TB is Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is a very small, rod-shaped bacteria. The bacillus can live in an oxygenated environment, making it aerobic. It divides every 16 to 20 hours, which is considered very slow in comparison to other bacteria, most of which divide every hour or less. Mycobacterium tuberculosis can survive in a dry state for many weeks and is resistant to weak disinfectants. A person can get infected with TB when they breathe in minute particles of mucus and other matter from the lungs. Basically, spit. These bacteria-covered particles enter the air when someone who has a TB infection in their lungs coughs, <coughs> spits, sneezes, or shouts. You can't get TB from someone infected with it by touching their clothing or shaking their hand. It is primarily spread by breathing the TB-filled air during close contact with someone who has it. It was positive. He's got TB. Well, of course he's got TB. The guy's been in the jungle for 20 years. If he tested positive for pink eye, would you think that was his big problem? He did a test. It was positive. Why is that a problem? Because now he's got the big red target on his arm. The stubborn jerk thinks he's right. He won't let us do any more tests. Well, maybe he's not the only stubborn jerk. Once TB is taken hold in your body, particularly your lungs, the first thing you'll most likely get is a lung infection. Lymph nodes near your lungs may also get infected and swell. Aside from the lungs, TB can strike in many parts of your body. A TB infection that happens after the initial exposure to the bacteria is often called primary TB. Our body's defense, known as the immune system, is capable of stopping the bacteria from spreading by fighting off the infection. The way it does this is by forming scar tissue around the TB bacteria and separating it from the rest of the body. The scary thing is, any one of you may have TB right now. We all react differently. It may just be inactive and trapped in scar tissue. Individuals with this show no symptoms and can't spread it to anyone else. But, if a person's immune system is weakened and they are unable to conceal the TB bacteria and scar tissue and it ruptures, it can cause active disease, which is referred to as secondary TB or reactivation tuberculosis. Besides the lungs, the most frequently affected body parts are the kidneys, bones, lining of the brain, and spinal cord. Thankfully, there are ways to combat this atrocious organism. Bacill calmet Gurin, BCG for short, is a vaccine given to TB patients around the globe. Derived from an atypical mycobacterium, it provides some protection against developing active tuberculosis, especially in children and infants. This vaccination is believed to be quite important in parts of the world where TB is unfortunately common. Every minute, four people die of TB. Wow! How can you sleep at night? There's people dying in Africa of a disease that we cured over... Yeah, I know. I saw the concert. This isn't the case in the U.S. 
the effectiveness of this vaccination is questionable, since children can be given it, yet tuberculosis still occurs when they are adults and they are exposed to the tuberculosis bacteria. If someone already has TB, they are treated one of two ways. Or is that a bad thing? Right now, I'm just trying to save your life. Or do you just have a problem with hope? If the person has a positive skin test, a normal chest x-ray, and no additional symptoms, they probably only have a few TB germs, which means they're not contagious and in an inactive state. To prevent it from becoming an active infection, antibiotics should be administered. The antibiotic is called isoniazid, INH. After taking it for 6 to 12 months, it will keep the TB from becoming active in the future. If a person, on the other hand, has a positive skin test with an irregular chest x-ray and assorted symptoms mentioned earlier, Everything screams tuberculosis. Not everything! They have TB bacteria with active tuberculosis, which does make them contagious. They must be treated with a mixture of medicines as well as isoniazid. Complex and extensive treatment usually, usually lasts many months, sometimes years. Successful treatment really depends on the cooperation of the patient. Failing to take the medicines prescribed is the main cause of unsuccessfully curing the TB infection. Surgery on the lungs of TB patients is relatively uncommon nowadays because the medicine almost always cures it before such drastic action is needed. If you think you might have been exposed to someone with TB, or think they have been, consult a doctor to check you out for signs of TB because it's very important to get an early diagnosis. Without treatment, TB can become a lethal infection. I hope you've all learned something about tuberculosis in this presentation. If you have further questions or would like to learn more about TB, ask your local doctor or go to websites regarding the subject. Now, to wrap up, I'm Clayton, and this was Information on Tuberculosis. And I leave you with stupid freaking house doing house stuff. Clayton out. television. What about something metabolic? Welcome aboard the good ship Ass Kisser. Nice day for sale. Pucker up, Niardis. It's not metabolic. He thinks it's TB. Good thing he's not the syphilis expert. He wants a second opinion. Second to his own. Okay. Wow! Scientific name for tuberculosis is... Uh.